You too. Hi. So, uh, we're going through some stuff right now, but we're not even going to go into that today because I'm sure you've heard about it everywhere and you can click any social media and see it. So we're going to skip over that part. And what I've done is I've created one, this video, uh, to kind of help the flow of things and two I've created a series of videos that you're gonna find in the description below They're all just scripted pretty well, and all I want you to do is really just pay attention to them have fun and um, Take everything that I say as loose as possible or as strict as possible. It's entirely up to you But what I do want to do is help out the most that I can uh, in this time and I want to make sure that I give you guys plenty of ideas plenty of things and uh, You know we're gonna make some content so, here's some ideas to stay little, maybe not having a caregiver or being stuck at home because you can't go anywhere. Welcome to ways to be little without a caregiver or dom. Basically allowing yourself to be little the whole time. Just with this. Story time, guys. Story time is huge. And what I mean by story time is we have this book, we have this book. You guys should keep books on hand. That way you guys can kind of follow it and read as much as you can, depending on the age that you regress. Now, on top of that, what I've done is I have created story time with Jay. So you're more than welcome to click the link below and enjoy plenty of story times with Jay because that is going to be a big thing. So. If you don't want to read yourself and you don't have any books handy, I am more than happy to read to you. Coloring books. Oh my gosh. I cannot, cannot stress this enough. Coloring books. Please color. Have fun. Have Do this in your spare time. Coloring books will save everything. Another piece of advice that I can give you is keep all of your stuff in a section or a box. Um, that way when you can go up to the box or you go up to the section, you already start to feel that feeling. It should help a lot uh, with regressing and staying little when no one's really around. Um, on top of that, keep these cups handy. If you have any of these cups, please, please, please keep them handy or get some. They're relatively inexpensive. I think this was like 99 cents. And you know, you gotta keep these uh, in handy too because those help a lot. So. What do we have so far? We have coloring books, we have Capri Sun, we have little cups, we have story time. What we are missing, which is huge, is stuffies. Please keep these on hand because they are so much fun and they can help you so much regress. I know, I know, I know, the second that you grab a stuffy, you can hug it and it'll remind you of whatever, ever good thing possible and it should help a lot. So keep these handy, please keep these in your back pocket. Another thing that I can bring up is little clothing. So if you have anything like this near the house, around the house, please keep it in your box. Separate everything. That way when you have that moment where you want to be little or you want to regress and you want to go into that state of mind, you have certain items that remind you and consistently remind you of that. What a lot of people I find their mistakes that don't help them get into little spaces, they kind of just keep all their stuff together and they don't really have a position where they can separate themselves from that world. Um, I know it's not the simplest thing. You can't just necessarily have a room, for instance, like I do, I just have a room and all of a sudden it'll help me get into that dom space but it's good to keep a box good to keep a shoe box with a couple things in there that way you can always stay consistent and be reminded and uh, help yourself out get into that little space now another thing that might help you a lot is consider the things that a potential dominant may advise you to do for instance keep your room clean keep yourself organized the more organized you are the more you're gonna feel able to go into that space you're gonna feel like somebody actually gave you that task and you get so ahead of yourself and you continuously do it and you create a routine for yourself that may work for you and it'll help a lot with that situation so stay organized stay on top of tasks in the morning create a routine for yourself brush your hair in the morning brush your teeth in the morning before you do anything else eat little snacks please keep goldfish Teddy grams, all the little graham crackers on hand. The more things you keep on hand, the easier it's going to be. As soon as you see your bed, instead of crawling into it and moving the sheets aside like you normally would, get giddy, jump into it. Force yourself into that mood. Get in there. Jump onto the bed. Have a little bit of fun before you get into bed. Put your hair in pigtails. Look at yourself in the mirror. Talk a different way. There's plenty of ways you can stay little without having anybody to help you stay little. I really, really, really hope some of these things help. Now, Let's get into the dirty side of things. Don't tell anyone. 
So, if you're worried about how to stay consistent as far as more of the naughty side of things, I'm here to help. One, I have ASMRs. Two, get an ice cube. Put it down your pants. See how that feels. I didn't say that. Another thing you can do is if you have somewhat of a following or you have people that uh, interact with you, um, you can always ask for a brand from someone and you can write it on yourself. And it can be very respectful and mutual as long as you let them know like, hey, I just, you know, I want someone to help me out with this. Um, come up with brands, write good things on your leg, write uh, things about that you're beautiful, you're nice, you're sweet. And then uh, if you want to punish yourself, write degrading things and uh, stare down and look at them, put an ice cube down your pants and have at it because I promise you that should change a little bit of the mood. Um, you can always keep in mind that uh, slight self-infliction as far as with the paddle or other things may help um, depending on the type of submissive or little that you are. All those things can be of big, big, big help. So everything is gonna be different to each person. Keep that in mind. But what I am trying to do is I'm trying to help whoever and you can take these ideas and pick them apart. You can use them as a whole. You can use every single one. You can use one of them. As long as I can help in any way, shape or form, I'm hoping that the list of videos that I've attached here are going to be a big help. And I'm hoping that this video as a whole is giving you more of ideas because sometimes you just sit at home and you're stumped. And you don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to act. You don't know what cup to use. And that's what I'm here to help with. So grab a Capri Sun. Pour it in one of these awesome cups, grab your stuffy, put on some cartoons, and stay little. Yo, she a freak and a she, she don't do that for you. All her friends better than Nessie, and she bring her round two. Quit calling her phone, yeah, we going round two. I'd be hitting to the morning if it wasn't for you, but.